Hey, good evening. I'm here. Uh, it is just after midnight, Tuesday, Monday slash Tuesday. So it's a day later. Uh, I'm finally back. <laughs> High-pitched Que. yes. I'm finally back uh, for good, like normal right now. Uh, not for good. I mean, let's be honest. I'm never back for good. Um, we're back for now. I'm going to do Theater Rhythm tonight, mostly Theater Rhythm. And I put Love Burb in the title. I don't know if I'm going to do more. May I will. I will. I think what I'll do is I'll do like two and a half hours of this and then an hour of Love Burb at the end. I kind of don't want that game to end too quickly. And if I do like a long stream of it, it's going to be done in like one. I want it to last like a couple streams. So yeah, I'm here. Uh, we have done... I have done... Quite a bit of this game offline. Um, as you can see... Every single character, and I mean every single character, except for the two I haven't unlocked yet, uh, are level 99. <laughs> I have maxed out every- well, not maxed out, because you could, you know, you could do way more for a character. Every character is at the max level. Uh, I have set up several teams. This one needs another character that I'm still- still need to get. I'm working towards several teams that'll make grinding the missions a lot easier, which I won't do on stream. I'm gonna be doing most of that on my own. Uh, how am I doing on scrolls, actually? I only have one Mystic Aura. I need four total, and I can't use one. I need one for this character, and then I need one for each of these three to make the two ideal teams that I like. But yeah, I've been rolling with this team for grinding items. Uh, Chocobo, who I've... As you can see, I've grinded every one of his stats. Yeah, brrrr, sake. I've grinded every one of Chocobo's stats to double S rank, which isn't max, triple S is, but... Yeah, Chocobo is, uh, without a doubt, the strongest character I have right now. And then I have, uh, Dan Cred, Locke, and Fran as just treasure hunters, so they could get extra items for me. Um, got a bunch of costumes, including this yellow Chocobo. Dash around like a chirpy Chocobo. And some other stuff. I got a bunch of, a bunch of summon stones. Um, now that I've leveled everyone up to 99, I'm not using Odin anymore. Uh, I've gone back to using Phoenix with the item drop rate. Though, that's only for that particular team. Like, this this team, I still have Odin, because this Odin has d summon damage plus 90%, and this team focuses on summoning. So, that's pretty cool. This team, I have Knights of the Round just because it increases magic ability, which you'll see why when I eventually get that team filled out. This is just for trigger damage, and this is, again, for the health refill. Odin McLodin. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've just been playing multi-battle a ton. Um, as you can see, my feats, well not my feats, my stats, my records here, uh, doing pretty good. 3 out of 3, 3 out of 3, 2 out of 3, 2 out of 3. Uh, apparently this is what completion is based on. It's based on how many of these stars you get. Um, if there is no star next to, an, next to a stat, you get that one big star next to it after getting enough of them. So there's just like one rank, whereas the rest of them have, uh, three ranks. Again, not too sure how it works, but... This- this'll be filled out by the time I get to the end of it. Because I'm going to be doing all the series quests on my own. And, uh, in terms of collect cards again, I haven't really been focusing on this on streams, but... I have, um... In terms of the character ones, I have all the common ones, over half of the rare ones, almost half of the premium ones, and a good chunk of the special ones. Um, summon cards, I have all the normal and rares, most of the premiums, and two of the specials. Enemies, I have most of the enemies, and then album and memory cards do nothing, so I'll get those in due time. Those are for missions and beating songs, so that's less less grinding needed for those. But yeah, that's kind of where I've been. I've been, been playing a ton. Um, haven't really unlocked anything. Haven't done anything new. Still very much at uh, the S or higher for all ultimate songs. So yeah, that's that's kind of where we are right now. And now that I'm done leveling everyone up, I'm kind of just going with whatever team I want to go with. So, what I'm going to be doing tonight... Uh, sort this by clear, clear. So we have one that we haven't unlocked yet. We still have 14, we still have Theater Rhythm, we still have Dissidia, and then we have Final Fantasy Series. I'm going to start with Dissidia tonight, because that's where the last two characters are. Then I'm going to do Final Fantasy Series, and if there's time, I will start going through 14. And then next stream will probably be the rest of 14 in Theater Rhythm. Uh, and yeah. 
Uh, also, I finished all the quests in one of the stories. Finally, all Mystic Quest. I have done all the I have done all the Mystic Quests. And uh, you do get like a little fanfare when it happens, and you get a bunch of items. Tell me, Locust is one of the fourteen songs. I actually do not know. Uh, what did I get? Oh yeah, I got I reached five billion points, and I got an achievement for that. Uh, no, that's not it. Where's a uh... Finale 2. Oh yeah, I got the achievement. I finally got the uh, ultimate 9.8 million score achievement. Now I have to do it on Supreme. Uh, did I not record? No, I didn't. I, didn't, I guess I didn't. Oh no, wait, yes I did. Here it is. This is what happens when you clear an entire game's quests. Also, hey Celine. Um, again, I probably won't be doing this on stream just because most of these quests are just going to repeat me going through these songs. You just get like a little rainbow thing and a uh, and a and a fanfare. And you get items too. The completion reward is for doing all the quests. So that's how you get a good chunk of items. But again, I've been grinding so much in uh multiplayer that it's really not super necessary for me to gr for me to get those items. It's just mostly for completionist sake. If I really want to go through them all again, which I might. If I do, it's going to be off stream. So yeah, we're going to start with Dissidia, because that's where the last two characters are. We're going to get, um, Materia and, and Spiritus. And Spiritus is required for my team that I need to blast through bosses. So we'll be getting him, and then, uh, we'll work our way from there. I've played one Dissidia song in multiplayer. One of the trailer themes. This one, actually. Final trailer. Um, sound quality's a little weird, uh, but I guess it's, you know, it's what they work with. Beat the Boss Chaos. Uh, I don't know if I'm capable of doing this. Yeah, but we could try. Again, I have a ton of items now, so I'm good once we get the last couple teams here, or a couple, couple party members here. So the city is an interesting series. Uh, originally on the PSP, it's a Final Fantasy fighting game, but not really a fighting game. It's it's a 3D, 3D, 3D arena fighter type game. Not really arena, no. It's it's one on one. I think the original was at least. Technically, the Theater Rhythm series can be considered an offshoot of, uh, of Dissidia. I'm used to hitting the uh, shoulder buttons on the Joy-Cons instead of the trigger buttons.
barely missed the double S on that one. Apparently, Spiritus Japanese voice actor has only been in one other piece of media. Seiji Amawasa and Whisper of the Heart. Really? Whisper of the Heart uh, was an interesting movie. It's kind of... I don't want to say it's boring, <laughs> but it's it's an interesting... Um, it's an interesting movie. It's interesting in that it, it it's it's it, it's it's very grounded in reality compared to uh, other other Ghibli films. Ghibli is it Ghibli? It's Ghibli, right? Some people still say Studio Ghibli, and I'm like, that doesn't that's not right. It's very grounded in reality, uh, and it's more about a. Uh, I actually can't remember it. I haven't seen it in so long. I've only seen it once, but. That movie is what the cat returns is then is then based off of because the character of the Baron is in uh, Whisper of the Heart as a fictional character and then they make him they make him real in uh, the cat returns. It's actually my favorite Ghibli film, especially when Riku's VA Kingdom Hearts covered the dub, dub voice for Seiji. Oh wow. Steel Scroll didn't defeat Chaos. I wasn't able to kill Chaos. But yeah, uh, Dissidia, Dissidia, I've only played, I've only briefly played the first game for like a tiny bit. That was the trailer for the first game, apparently. Um, this technically, I could do anything, no. Technically, uh, Theater Rhythm is kind of an offshoot of Dissidia, because the first... None of the Theater Rhythm games have a story, except for the very first one. It's a very basic story, but essentially it's the same story as the original Dissidia, involving uh, Cosmos and... Is it Chaos? Is, is that the name of the other... Is that the name of the, the other dude? Cosmos and Chaos, okay, yeah. Um, it's essentially the same story, except instead of fighting... Uh, they're like, oh, the the balance. The Cosmos is like the balance needs to be restored through the rhythm. So that's what leads to the whole idea of like playing a rhythm game with Final Fantasy music, as opposed to it being like a fighting game, a one-on-one -on -one fighter instead. Like not technically, but like in a way, they do, it's that the characters serve the same purpose, but they're also considered Dissidia characters. Chaos is voiced by Norio Wakamoto. Ooh. Okay, so this is all uh, this is all performance based. Size of battle range from Final Fantasy VI. Ninety percent or better good judgment. What's for the house an anime at middle school? Filling out what they want to do with their passions. That was it. I only saw it once, like, a very long... Like, when I first graduated college. Which was over... Oh, well over a decade ago. <laughs> I'd be down for a Ghibli marathon at some point. There's, qu there's quite a few of them I haven't seen yet. And a few that I would love to revisit. Okay, there's definitely a disconnect between, um... There's definitely a timing issue with uh, playing on console now, after playing handheld so much. I, like, have to wait longer. I might have to turn the offset up.
Oh yeah, there's definitely something wrong. Let's start with Grave of the Fireflies. Also, the Squirrel Fox plush from Nausicaa. Nice. There's the City of Opera Omni, which is a gotcha game with semi interesting storyline. Leon, FF2, and Arden have a neat relationship since they both use darkness. That's cool. Makes me think of Kingdom Hearts, how they kind of bonded a few characters together from different games. Over, uh... Well, over nothing, really. Main characters. I, they made. I like how they made Squall and uh, and Cloud like kind of rival ca rivals to each other. Actually, unless you can handle that movie, don't start with that one. That maybe that's more for a uh, sad night, depressing night. Oh, my triggers were judged harshly there too. Okay, maybe that's why I was having a hard time. Battle one, arranged from Final Fantasy. I'm guessing that's nine. Yep, that's uh, Zidane. Earn eight million or more. All right. See through the eyes of a bending unit. Fine. I don't know why, why I like just the way I talk made me think of that mocking Futurama quote. The way she's just so like indignant about it. Fine. <laughs> no, I'm definitely hitting I definitely have to hit them later than I think. failed. I failed horribly. Wow. Playing in handheld mode has really fucked me up here. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to reset the offset on this. That was, that was pathetic. That was awful. I'm getting to the point now where I'm like, if I'm getting an S rank, that's not good enough. I need a double S or higher. Alright, wait a second. Let me, uh, Where's the offset option? Hold on. Oh, BGM timing, TV mode. Uh, increase this setting if you're hitting triggers early. Decrease if you're hitting late. I'm hitting early. So wait, no. Maybe I have to just turn the offset off. Alright, let me try that again. I want to see if, uh... I want to see if this is working. Yeah, because I play a little differently when I'm in handheld mode. I use the uh, L and R buttons instead of ZL and ZR. That was that was me.
Okay, yeah, just turning it off did a lot better. I don't know why, I guess playing in handheld mode got me used to the offset being being zero. So now I can't play with it at a low offset, because it's too early. DOO jumps between the main games and also has you dealing with the cast of Type Zero, World of Final Fantasy, Four Crystal Chronicles game, Stranger Paradise, Revenant Wings, The After Years, Tactics, and Dirge of Cer Cerberus. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, because they add the new games in as they come out. I was going to say, wow, that, that Stranger of Paradise is in that. That's pretty impressive, considering it only came out last year. I think there are two Stranger of Paradise songs in this game, in the Final Fantasy series area. Also, remake, Jesse. Oh, nice. Keeping the peace from Dissidia Final Fantasy. Clear with at least 80 HP. Eh, that shouldn't be a problem. Biggs. Widge. Jesse. It's like my stomach is mostly back to normal now. It's a little sensitive. It's been acting up whenever I eat anything, but... Mostly seems to have evened out. You know what I think also might be causing the offset to uh, work better with it off on this is because, um, there's delay from OBS and, and the capture card. And it might be evening out to like just the right amount. Like I'm sure if I was watching this on my TV right now as I was playing it, uh, it probably would not be as smooth. Like the, the offset would need to be changed because I would be hitting it too early. That Mystery Dungeon Chocobo? Yes. Well, technically it's it's any Chocobo game series Chocobo. Because there's multiple. It's the Chocobo GP. It's the same uh, Chocobo technically. I mean, Alpha... Technically, okay, technically Alpha is that same Chocobo too. Because it was created in the vision of that, of that Chocobo. So Alpha is as a clone of that specific Chocobo as well. Clear an ultimate or harder. Well, that won't be a problem. Troops advance from the city of Final Fantasy. See, now I have a ton of these, even though I only have two characters left to use them on. So I'm going to not need them anymore. But then again, I never need the healing items either, so... May get some JoJo's tomorrow. Nice. What do you dip them in? Cheese? Dressing?
Ranch? Nice. I have ranch is good. Volcano lava cake. Mm. Everyone's talking about food now, and I want food. I was talking about spaghetti before the stream, and I was like, oh man, I could go for like a good, like simple tomato sauce spaghetti with spicy pepper. Pepper flakes, rather, not pepper. Not regular pepper. Or a linguine, or a chicken alfredo with ling linguine. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, uh, this weekend I'm gonna have to get some good food. Which, it's kind of stupid of me because I had, um... Man, why, why is the sound quality for this so not good? So, I, m I mentioned last week during that one stream I did uh, that Smashburger has that new smack and cheese, macaroni and cheeseburger. And, uh... I had it, and uh, it was disappointing. It just tasted like a regular cheeseburger with, like, like, a little bit of chewiness in the macaroni. There was, there was no, there was nothing, like, flavorful about it that made it taste like mac and cheese on a burger. And I was just like, ah, this is disappointing. And then my stomach was still upset, so afterwards I got, like, very full and uncomfortable. And I was just like, well, I'm regretting this now. <laughs> Deal 600 damage or more with one ability to one enemy. Oh, that should be easy. This probably will work right now with, with Sh Sh Shondo, Shondo. Shant Otto. This is the super broken team, which I need Spiritus for, for it to work properly. But when I get him, we're gonna be we're gonna be overboard. Yeah, Smashburger, I love Smashburger, but that mac and cheese burger was a bit disappointing. I was just not happy with it. And I, I regret getting it. I mean I guess not. I don't regret trying it. It wasn't a bad burger, I just wasn't what I wanted. No, it didn't work. I need the boss to appear for the for the for the ability to work. Had spaghetti for a meal today. Season the meat with taco sa oh spaghetti with, with meat. Season the meat with taco seasoning. That's interesting. Yeah, it didn't work. Again, I really need I really need Spiritus in my party to even things out here. Dissidia O2, Duodecim. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. The final trailer. I like how they have the trailer music in here, because they don't they apparently don't have enough songs to pick from in the game. Seventy percent or higher rainbow critical judgments. Eh, we might be able to do that.
barely made that at the end there. I fumbled like all those last notes too. Nice. Again, I haven't had a ton of experience with the city, uh. It's another one of those series that, like, you would think would only get one game, just like Theater Rhythm, and then they kind of just kept going with it. Canto Mortis, an undocumented battle. From Dissidia, yeah, it's, it's just from Dissidia itself. Gate to the Rift, from Dissidia 02. Why does it have to specify that it's from Dissidia Duodecim? If it's the same song. Or if it's an original song. These are both, uh... Earn one or more chests, so that's gonna be very easy with this team. This team is made to get treasure chests. The mist. One's a little tricky, but we managed to get almost a triple S on it. <laughs> Again, it's it's interesting because this game doesn't use combos for scoring at all. Because of how the points are, are divvied up into each song to be the exact same amount. So if you break your combo in the middle, you could still get the same score you get by just keeping it the whole way through as long as you get... uh. Enough, enough good ranks, or points. Beat the boss by dealing slashing damage. That's gonna require a specific team, which, uh, won't be able to do.
I just noticed that the frog color that the characters turn into is whatever their class is. So because I had three hunters, they turned they all turned uh, light blue, while Chocobo turned pink because he's a supporter. far I've been led to believe the music in the Dissidia series is very dour sounding and uh, very serious. Not a lot of lightheartedness happening. Speed plus. Speed plus. Cantata Mortis from Dissidia Duodecim. So I've heard this is the hardest boss in the game to fight. Uh, Feral Chaos. But this is what you. This is what Shantoto is pretty much for. She could take this boss out in one hit if you have the right setup. I do not have the right setup though, so that won't be happening. I'll pull out this team. I want to see if this team does any better with pure damage. I mean, again, my main team right now is not for damaging. It's for treasure chests. So, pull out someone else for fighting. These guys also need more abilities, though. I need I need a bunch of Mystic Auras for them to power up uh, Noctis.
that wasn't enough. Again, I have to get more buffs out. I'm, I'm kind of worried about the, the Spiritus setup, the Shantoto setup, because I don't know how they're going to plow through enemies to get to the boss in time. Because pretty much the entire setup revolves around Shantoto casting Ultima, which only happens when the boss appears. Spark from the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omni. Defeat seven or more enemies. See, this I might be able to do with this team. But again, I need more Mystic Auras to power up uh, Noctis' abilities. It's like the only thing I need. I just need four more of those, or th three more of those. That was weird. That, that was so weird. Did you notice that, like, none of the notes matched up there? Like, all the notes were, like, like, a couple seconds behind the music. Uh, and ahead of the music. Like, that wasn't an offset issue. That was an issue with the song's beat map. Not matching up to the song. Lyrical version of that song. Oh, cool. There was definitely something off there with that with that chart. Like you could tell that the holds were before the long uh, piano keys. Okay, we got three songs from from uh, Dissidia Arcade now. Eternal Wind from Final Fantasy III. So this is the map theme from III. I saw the Pixel Remaster of 3. It's very interesting to see that game in a 16-bit in a style, considering it was never remade into that in, in that era of uh, Final Fantasy. It was only re originally remade into the uh, DS version. And I guess the iPhone version then later. I'm guessing the City of Arcade stays closer to uh, just remixes rather than epic sweeping orchestral choral sounds.
Wait a minute, I refilled my HP. Oh, I have characters with Mug. I think that, or not Mug. Hold on a second. I was beefing that up anyway. Um. Still only one Mystic Aura Scroll. God damn, why is that one so rare? I just need... I need three more of them. Uh, summon attack. Restore fit. Okay, no, no, no. We don't want anyone that can re still restore HP gauge here. Yeah, we'll just go with set four. Because if we restore HP, then we fill the mission. I'm not going to make, like, a big deal out of doing the missions right away, but, like, if I could help it now, I'm going to try to, like, at least make an attempt at doing it. Stuff at the end, but I got a triple S. Mannequin. That looks like what number is that? That would probably be a that's an enemy card. Rebel Army from Final Fantasy 2. Arrange. Meant. Deal 17,000 or more damage. Mm, yeah, I'll science point to probably not on that one. Ooh, that sounds that sounds rocking. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna just be a bunch of remixes now, probably.
All right, I gotta look up something here, because I think, uh, I, is this, is, was, is the music in the City Arcade done by Revo? Because that's what it sounds like. Dissidia Arcade Composer. Uh, da, 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 da. Composers. I don't know. I don't know if Revo is any of those people. Group composer Revo, or Rebo, is the leader and only permanent member. No, he, that's just his, that's just his name. That's interesting. It sounded, it sounds very, that song sounded very bravely defaulty. And, uh, Revo, Rebo, however it's pronounced, did the, uh, soundtrack to Bravely Default. So I was wondering if that was him, uh, doing the music here. I got Feral Chaos, this card. Nice. It apparently is not. <laughs> Be ten or more enemies. Dancing mad arrangement. Cool. Oh. Bring it on. Bring it. Barely got an S on that. Oh, they could put a whole loop of that version of Dancing Mad in, but the original version? No. Sorry. Can't do it. I heard some of the Pixel Remaster music, too, and that's also really good. They redid a lot of the music in, in, the, old in the Pixel Remasters with, uh, like, actual, like, orchestral uh, arrangements. Which are really good. Oh, yeah. Time for the drink. Pixel Remaster FF6 Chocobo theme is a miss, really. I didn't hear it. Techno Day Chocobo is hard to top. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Anti-Pyretic from Final Fantasy Tactics. Omnis, omnis, ominous prognostics. Prognostics from Final Fantasy XIV. In the beginning of the end. Clear without taking enemy, any enemy attacks. Okay, so I gotta do this one perfectly to get the 
mission on it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give this one try and then stop, and then give up on it. <clears throat> mm. I have to get back into the voice acting this week too. I'm uh, gonna be doing some stuff. I got a perfect chain there, but I guess not. Yeah, I did! How did I take da- oh, I did- oh, okay. Why was I taking damage then? My health bar was definitely not full at some point there. At some point I took damage, and I'm not sure when, but I guess it doesn't count. HMMB, hmm. Beginning of the end. Which one's. Is, oh, type 0. I could tell from the clothes up there. Because high damage proportion to magic. Oh, no, these decrease damage. That's interesting. All right, let's keep going.
Ooh, I don't know how I pulled that off. Less. I got ten chests. Oh, because I'm using the double. Uh, I'm using the double. Double mo the mog amulet. That's why. I just got two new cards. Alexander. Mog amulet. Gold growth egg. I wish those weren't so pointless now. I mean, that's not true. Even after everyone's 99, I could still use them to help people get to uh, star levels quicker. But I'm going to be honest. There's, no po there's not a ton of reason to do so. Ominous Prognistics from Final Fantasy XIV. I know the original version of this song's in the game. Because I've played it in multiplayer. Technically, I have it unlocked already. If it's if I've played it in multiplayer, then it's in the full music list, but... Uh, I'm not touching it in-game until I get to the point where it is in, uh, in quest mode. Wow, the end of that song comes abruptly. Usually there's a little pause between that and the victory screen. Massive Explosion short version from Dissidia Final Fantasy is... Arcade. Okay, so this is specifically from Arcade. And this is, what is it? Get 80% or higher critical judgments. This is the lyrical version? Oh, okay. Interesting. So I wonder which version came first. Was well, arcade came before uh, Opera Omni, didn't it? I don't know. They put it before. They put they put Opera Omni before arcade.
Opera Omni's only tactics rep is Ramza and Agrius. I have not, you know, I've never played tactics, like, ever. It's, it's, it interests me, but I've never really... I know a lot of people got stuck at the beginning of tactics because they didn't realize they could do random battles. <laughs> also, Cloud and Aerith are in the game. And getting Cloud is apparently very, very much an ordeal. It's also worth noting again that my very first Final Fantasy game was 6. And I didn't play it until my senior year of high school. And even after that, I didn't play a ton of them. This, I think, is the heart. Wait, did I miss a stage? Hold up. No, there's still one more after this, okay. This version of Feral Chaos is apparently the heart. Yeah, boss enemies have double HP. This is the hardest mission in the game to clear, apparently. Unless I do the, the Shantoto cheese. God in Fire. Arrangement. I mean, I doubt it's gonna work here, but I can always try. The fact that I'm down a party member. Yes, yeah, so just getting Cloud is enough to make him playable. You have to get a specific tile on a specific volcano stage to find his Materia Blade so he could use his Limit Command. Wow. Slows down there. The song's not too difficult. Just, we didn't even get to Feral Chaos, though. And no items for that at all. Dare to Defy, The City of Final Fantasy NT. So this is the only NT song. So there's only one Opera Omni song and one NT song. Take note of how they play the bullshit. So the problem with multi battle is that there's no real strategy to it. It's just play the songs normally. And, uh, and and don't get thrown off if the if you have bursts turned on. <laughs> well, 
What rank did I get in the last song? Triple S or just regular S? Triple S, okay. I was like, wait a minute. How bad? I thought the last song was easy. Why do I remember only getting an S on it? Say that's not the end of the song. There's way too much time left. That's the end of the song. <laughs> Dare to be stupid. Dare to defy smart. Pretty good, but I got like no items for doing that. <laughs> That's my item team, too. I wasted a Mog Amulet on that one. The title cleared. I'm gonna get me the last two characters. Lux Concordia, Concordia from Decidia Duo Destem. De Decidia Duo 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 Alright, let me do the, uh, let me do the, uh, let me do the, uh, -de 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 -de. Doug Dimidome, yeah. Doug Dimidome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimidome. Okay, let me clear out all those. Where's the, uh... Oh, because it's from Duodecim. Oh, I see, they actually have these split by game. Yeah, for some reason they have Opera Omni down here, even though in the quest mode it's before Arcade. Uh, well, let's, um... God's Machines, you can increase the party's leader's physical power. God of Magic can increase the party leader's magic power. That's what we need from him. And then we'll just put, like, an absolute brick shit house to, uh, to join us here. Cloud is probably, is probably that brick shit house because he's got the, uh, Generally has the highest attack here. 272 and 342. Yeah, there we go. Actually, no. Let's, let's put Odin back on while we're raising them up. We can take them off later. EMS time.
I got two chests already. I'm hitting one note. Was that, uh... Was that Squall fighting, uh... Sephiroth? Wow, this song's already over. I didn't even realize. This song's like a minute long. <laughs> I almost got I almost got the 9.8 million on that again. If that one has a supreme mix, I should probably do that one. Probably have no EXP for that. Never mind. I got almost all as the cap. I almost hit the cap on that one. No cap. The capu, yeah, like the bamboos from last night. God, the end of that stream got st got stressful. <laughs> the end of the end of uh, getting that v heat visor and going all the way back without saving. I was like, oh my god, please. All right, Final Fantasy series is next. This has the other song that I cannot play on. Sh uh, that I cannot upload to YouTube, apparently. I have to look up which one it is. So I believe this is all miscellaneous Final Fantasy games. Just like one or two songs from a bunch of different ones. Yeah, here we got The Four Heroes of Light from Final Fantasy The Four Heroes of Light. This is a DS game that takes the Final Fantasy series back to its roots. Because at the time that this came out, you know, 12 and 13 were kind of the the hot numbers here. So this game kind of takes it back to, like, the old school, like, NES style. This ends up being a prequel of sorts to Bravely Default. A lot of the, a lot of the systems introduced in this game were reused in Bravely Default. And some of the enemies from, Bravely, from this game appear in Bravely Default. Okay, before I jump into this, I need to look up the name of the song that I cannot play from this this route. Uh, Final Fantasy Tribute Thanks opening theme. Final Fantasy Tribute Thanks opening theme. So when I get to that, I have to pause the recording. Kappa. <laughs> Kapu Kappa.
Oh, I don't know what the quest was here. I didn't get a feat for unlocking all the characters. You would think that would be one of them. Oh, I hit the cap. Nice. And I got him his uh, ability that he needs. Tolerant Wisdom. Oh, it's points. Okay. Feat achieved. Played a song from every series quest title. Nice. Another four heroes of light. Fiend encounter. Oh, this song. That song is uh notable. It's in uh it's in it's used in Bridley Default for a, for special battles. Okay, you gotta go in here. This goes off. This goes off. We'll also teach you Mystic Aura. I believe that's the that's the t setup that you need to like just break everything. But he also needs to be level 99 like everyone else. Theater rhythm. Final bar line team. Mystic Aura Mimic, Mystic Aura Mimic, Toler Mystic Aura Tolerant Wisdom, Bluff Play Rough Ultima. The order that they're in do slightly matter, because um, if multiple skills proc at the same time, they always proc, uh, I think it's like top to bottom, left to right. So I believe, yeah, this should be Mystic Aura on top for all of them, Mimic, Mimic, Tolerant Wisdom, Bluff Play Rough Ultima, and then none in the bottom slots for them. I think that's the setup, but I'm not entirely sure. I should probably buff their strength, so they could plow through regular enemies. Shantoto only needs magic, though. There's not going to be any Bravely music in this game. None of the DLC is Bravely themed, unless it's one of the question mark packs at the end. That's a bit upsetting.
Do I have the Bravely Default version of that song? I think I do. Because I think I have the Bravely music from my old laptop here. Called, uh, it's called Nemesis in uh, Brilliant Default. It's used for specific uh, super bosses. Oh! Chocobo hit uh, star one. I don't know how much it raised the stats, though. Good song. It's a good remix. Let me tell you, Bravely Default, though, has some good, good fucking music. I, w I would love for some of that to be in this game. World of Battle from World of Final Fantasy. Get 40% or higher rainbow criticals. Wow, that's a very low bar to clear. Okay. Extremely low bar to clear. So low my bones will break. Not from Hermes from Futurama. The second time I've referenced Futurama tonight. What's the consensus on World of Final Fantasy? I know it's one of those oddball games. But so that's the game where, where the characters can get like the chibi versions of all the previous characters as, as like party members. It's almost like Pokemon, kind of, in a way.
It's actually pretty good, huh? I figured. I figured it wouldn't be terrible. I've heard. Does the what? Who who's in the the new vert? Because I know the Switch has a uh, Maxima, the the redone version of it. Isn't um, isn't Sora in it? Like they put Kingdom Hearts characters in it. Oh, they hit level 99. Wow, I'm already done. Everyone's 99 again. There's no more things to open. Guard plus. I was gonna say there's no more there's no more things to unlock. I got ten guard pluses. Ten power pluses, magic pluses, mind pluses, speed pluses, luck pluses. Oh, that was actually really cool. Battle, Chaos Advent. It's a Stranger of Paradise. Which another game, which Sora was DLC in Maxima, yeah. This is another game that like people thought was gonna be not good, and then apparently it was it was really good. Alright, well. They're all caked up now. So we're right back where we started. I guess now I could try doing this, though, now that they're all 99. Oh man, having so many of those is good, though. I want to max out... ...someone's stat. I can only put 14 more into him. Okay, let's do it. Let's max his HP out. Nice. Okay, so 999 is the cap. Take exactly all of my luck pluses to finish that off. That's what I want in this party. It's like my throwaway party of random people. Terra, just for, for, to have a magic user. There we go. Balance team. Oh god, my back is really itchy. One sec. Apparently this team, this is this is this is the uh, this is the the meta. Yeah, like I don't need to use these anymore now at all. <laughs> Unless I want to bother going for star levels, which I thought there was a feat if you get a character up to a star level. I guess not.
Oops. The problem I have is that we're not getting to the bosses because we're not doing any abilities to the weaker enemies. Like, how are we supposed to? How am I supposed to pull off Ultima if I can't get the bosses to show up? Do I need to just keep buffing strength for everyone until we can just plow through them? Drain Squirrel, Ugh. Increase the character's HP to 9999. Nice. Increase the character's spirit to 9999. Increase the character's agility to 9999. Battle, False Knight. Motif from Battle. Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. I don't know. They're both pretty caked up on strength already. Just say everything is 9999 and call it a day. Well, I didn't finish bringing everything to 9999. That's why. Oh, nice. Final Fantasy 1 battle theme.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. She was silenced, so she didn't- she skipped casting ult. Wow, really? This game is really- really just doesn't want me to use that setup, huh? That would have been it, right there. If, if I didn't get silenced right beforehand. Use the character's luck to 999. Jack's theme from Stranger of Paradise. Cool. Clear without restoring HP. Bullshit. I like how five is the cutoff for the amount of songs you needed to be your own series. His name's Jack. Remember, everyone thought that game was gonna be an Isekai and it ended up not being one at all. Apparently, it's still a very good game. It is apparently a very, very, very good game. Very fun. We did do a ton of damage there. They do a lot of damage in that fight. But it's still not enough. Bra Bra, Final Fantasy, Braste Bravo. Google's theme and FF Medley. No, no, you only need one bra. One bra covers both cups. That's stupid, I'm sorry. Bra stay bra- oh, because it's bra stay bravo, and they both start with B-R-A.
<laughs> music is your mood right now. Yeah, it's my mood too. Take me to the forest, please. Just leave me there to live among the moogles and the bugs. And the weird pot goblin things. Pizza gnomes, yeah. Wait for Jabroni Mike to come by screaming because he didn't, he, he missed the P rank. He didn't scream or anything, but oh man, the silence was enough. Yeah, I saw the highlight reel that came out recently. That he did. Yeah. Not too happy. None too happy. I think at the rate I'm going, when I finish this, I'll switch to... to... Love Burb, and then, uh, I'll probably, uh, stop for the evening. I have it perfectly timed out, so I think the next stream, I think tomorrow what I'll do is I'll probably do Metroid again. Wednesday I may take off, I'll have to see, and then Thursday, or whenever I stream after that, I will, uh, probably do the FF14 Theater Rhythm stream. Because that, that map's going to take me close to a whole segment to do. Thirty-two songs, and I've only done seven of them. Oh, yeah, big, more big squirtles. Yeah, probably. I have to get out of that research facility. spring going for me so far? Cold. Today was a cold day. But yes, today was the start of spring. The 21st is the first full day of spring this year. We had a very mild winter, so it being cold now is actually colder than it was all season.
barely missed Triple S. Dead Below freezing several times over the past few weeks. Spring is fall part two for you. It's nothing else is different for you other than more green and fall temperatures. Yeah. I mean, it's been very mild here this winter, so it's warm. But, nah, today, this, today it was definitely a lot colder than it's been. I don't know if that's going to keep up over the next while. Um, gonna load? No, actually looks like it's going back up to 60 tomorrow. Rainy. It's gonna be average around 50s for the next couple week or, week or so, apparently. Mostly, mostly sunny. Some clouds, a little rain. Not much else to say. Alright, Brass de Bravo 2. Battle at the Big Bridge and Mambo de Chocobo. like the art for that one. Remember, it's a mind game. Speed does not matter. That's faster than two times speed. That's That's gotta be like three times. If I turn on the overlay, it'll actually tell me. Almost got triple S on that. Like, here goes fall part two. Everything is green and warm and hot and a little humid. Fall part one, but with leaves. Everything is naked and now cold and wet. And then fall part two. Oh. Kind of happy we didn't have winter this year. I, I could do without ever having to shovel snow again. 
Ooh, excuse me. Oh, that's uh, that's that's the one I don't think I can uh, play. Hold on. It's opening theme, right? Yeah. That that next one I can't I can't play on stream technically. Well, I can play it on stream. I can't play it on VOD though. Battle at the big bridge. Defeat the boss in 25 seconds. Triggers are judged more harshly. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you'll be seeing this background. Well, this this curtain background set up a lot when I get to the theater rhythm section. I like how that's the only one of these that gets cut short from the Brass Bravo. That was pretty good. That was a good remix. There's a ton of remixes of this song. I think that this and, uh, this Genova and, and, uh, One Winged Angel are, like, the three most remixed songs in this game. Or reused songs. Alright, so the next song apparently will get me slammed if I upload it to YouTube. So I'm gonna do what I did last time, and just pause the recording while I clear it. And it'll be a stream exclusive. Ooh. But people on, on YouTube are real jealous right now. Probably not. No one's watching this on YouTube. And that's how I saved Christmas, and beat the Final Fantasy series uh, route, because that was the last one. Oops. Oh well. That's a shame, you'll have to look it up elsewhere. I didn't beat Chaos. I didn't kill Chaos. I think that was the end of it. <laughs> Meltman. I miss, uh, I miss Kablam. Kablam was my favorite cartoon show growing up. I. So that just leaves... That just leaves two things left. Final Fantasy XIV and Theater Rhythm itself. I think, um... Next stream of this, I will do probably all... It'll probably just be all 14. Well, I don't know. Depends on how long the segment will be. It may just be all of 14. It may be 14 in Theater Rhythm. The thing is, though, once you beat these, there is one more thing that unlocks. That, uh... I might start on stream, but I don't know if I'll finish it. Because there's no finish. There's an endless mode. That gets unlocked, but yeah, we're finally up to the uh, the final two, the 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 main the main man and uh, the most popular one, and also the longest one. It's also this says it's the easiest quest. It's only one star. <laughs> 
So that'll be, what, 25 songs plus the EMS, that's 26. And then we have 17 songs here, counting the EMS. So 26 plus 25. So we, wow, so we have like, wait, no. 16 plus 1 is 17. 17 plus 25, 26. 17 plus 26. We have 43 songs left. So yeah, we got like another whole stream of this at least. And then what I'll do is uh, once those are done, I'll come back and do all the uh, all the DLC for. Uh, well, what I'm gonna do is every two every two DLCs, I'll come back and do another stream of the DLCs. Because right now I have it perfectly timed or perfectly set up so that I could do four and five in one stream, six and seven, uh, eight and nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14, 15. So that'll work out perfectly. I got a couple minutes till I want to switch, though. So maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll do one, just to lighten the load up a little bit. I'll do, like, maybe one or two songs from 14. So we cleared everything that was up to this point, right? Yeah. Hard to miss. The land breathes. Torn from the heavens. Nemesis. Primal Judgment. Let's see if I can buff this party a bit more. See, but like the regular attacks require strength, don't they? They have the primal meats. God damn it. I have no luck pluses. Problem is, like, none of these are really... I don't even know what mine does. What does spirit do? I have to look into it more. I have to look into see what, uh... Because they're like, oh, you, you can just do it with 99, level 99 of all three of these... All four of these characters. But apparently not. God, I was flailing there. Wait, I passed the quest. Did I actually cast Ultima?
Strength, power of your physical character's physical attacks, magic power effectiveness of your character's magic attacks and abilities. Spirit tracks the rate in which a summon gauge fills. Okay, contribute your summon's attack power and BMS. Agility, how fast your character tractor can travel and FMS engines. Luck, chance for chests. Okay. Oh, I must not have used it because I didn't hit the damage cap. But I defeated the boss anyway. Interesting. Under the weight. Alright. The problem is, is that all the music in 14 from here on out are parts I haven't been to yet. But yeah, we'll come we'll come back to those two. Let me see. Uh, I got a lot of feats because of all the max out ones. I'm yeah, I'm at 70 now. So I gotta clear the theater rhythm and watch the ending. Play more. I'm assuming that's 50 hours. Play one song more. Maybe with a lot more perfect chains. Fill up critical charts. Beat more enemies. Level a character up past 99. I did. I didn't get a feat for that. Get even more collector cards. Complete quests from a lot of series titles. Get through some stages in an endless world run. Clear every song. If you complete all series quests from every title, that's... Maybe will happen. Get every memory collector card. Get every enemy collector card. If you get a summon collector card in every rarity, max out a character's magic. Max out a character's stats. This page was like empty before. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Battle party. Still haven't hit the cap on, uh... Combined character star level 1. <laughs> Max damage dealt, 79, 629. Oh, I, those are finally filled out. Those weren't filled out before. Cool, cool, cool. There's only one more? Oh no, there's two more. Uh, EMS is left. Brings it up to a 27, which I believe is how many they said there were. Oh, and I'm up to a solid four stars completion now. I was at three and a half for a while. Also, I'm over 58. I'm over 50 hours at this point. Cool, I'm happy about that. I'm happy I'm getting closer. Eighty percent completion. Nice, 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 nice. Well, I will definitely be returning to this game. Uh, in the near future to hopefully close it out. Maybe one or two more streams of the base game, and then, like I said, every two DLC packs afterwards, I will come back and do another stream. So, not the next one that comes out next Wednesday, but the one that comes out two Wednesdays after that. So, uh, three and a half weeks from now, <laughs> I'll come back and do another stream after I finish this, assuming this is done before then. It will be. But yeah, we're almost... We're, the finish line is within sight here. And uh, it's been a ride. It's been a wild ride, and I'm enjoying it. But uh, we got quite a bit more to go still. So, uh, yeah. More, more of this very soon. Very soon-ish. Maybe later this week. We'll see.